A father drowning in grief. His little girl killed after something went horribly wrong on her school bus. We place our kids in y'all's hands. And we expect them to come back just like we sent them to with y'all. Police say she jumped off the moving bus. Why he doesn't believe it. That father is now suing Galveston ISD, saying that the school district could have prevented his 13 year old daughter's death. We covered this story as breaking news when it happened in December. Now that father is telling his story only on two. Our Gianna Caserta joins us live in Galveston. Gianna, this dad told you that he believes the district was negligent in his daughter's death. That's right, Bill, and he spoke exclusively with us about the search for answers in his daughter's death. We just need closure, you know, before we can have peace about my daughter's death. Daryl Thomas says his 13-year-old daughter, Michaela, could light up a room. She walk in a room full of strangers and just start dancing. And she was just happy. I never seen her uh, having a sad day. On December 7th, Thomas says he was driving to his mother's house when he passed a terrible accident on I-45. He said a prayer, but never imagined it was his daughter he was praying for. I looked over and seen him doing CPR, but I had no idea that it was my daughter. Thomas is suing the Galveston Independent School District for negligence he believes led to his daughter's death. The lawsuit asserts this particular GISD bus transported special needs students and was not to be operated without both video cameras operational and an extra adult aide on board to protect the children. Deputies say Michaela was riding the bus home to Galveston from an alternative school in Texas City. Investigators say Michaela got into some type of altercation with another student. The bus driver intervened and separated the two girls. Michaela was sent to the back of the bus, and the other student was told to sit up front. Moments later, investigators say Michaela intentionally jumped from the emergency door in the back. Thomas says his daughter would never do that. The school district put out there that she just jumped off a bus. And they expect that the parents should just accept that. Well, it, it's not good enough. It's not acceptable. And we reached out to Galveston ISD for a statement, and they released one reading, the school district has not been served with a copy of the lawsuit. Therefore, we cannot respond to the allegations contained in the lawsuit at this time. Reporting live in Galveston, I'm Gianna Caserta, KPRC Channel 2 News.